We often hear about inverted yield curves, but what do they mean? Find out on this week's Money Unleashed. An inverted yield curve occurs when short-term interest rates are higher than long-term interest rates. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's considered to be an indicator of an upcoming economic recession. When investors are worried about the economy's future, they tend to shift their investments from stocks to bonds, which are considered a safer investment option. As more investors start to purchase bonds, the demand for bonds increases, driving down the yields. However, in the case of an inverted yield curve, the demand for short-term bonds is higher than long-term bonds. This could be because investors are more worried about the near-term economic outlook than the long-term outlook. In an effort to prevent inflation from getting out of control, the Federal Reserve can raise short-term interest rates. This makes borrowing more expensive, which can help slow down economic growth and prevent inflation or in some cases help control it. The Federal Reserve raises short-term interest rates to prevent inflation from getting out of control. When the economy is growing too quickly and demand for goods and services is high, companies will start to raise their prices, leading to inflation. Raising short-term interest rates makes borrowing more expensive, which can help slow down economic growth and prevent inflation. Although it may be rare, understanding these concepts can be beneficial for investors in making informed decisions about their investments.